Continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about a transforming God Vegito. Now, it's highlighted in yellow for the Vegito part of the car because I didn't like the uh, first recording I did for this video, so I'm just doing another one. Send me custom cards over to VHJ Custom Cards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Thank God I got that right this time. So, there's nothing inside the email, so let's just go ahead and just go straight into it. Now, uh i did already read this card so i'm going to be moving very very quickly through this video okay so it's dokkan concept unit super vegeto into a super saiyan god vegeto uh fusion transcendence super vegeto int of course i think this is uh this is is this ultra super vegeto i could be wrong i could definitely be wrong someone could correct me down below i don't play too much legends i play it but i don't play it as much as i play dokkan obviously so his leader skill is patara fuse fighters or transmission boost three key there's not three key there but i'm assuming he meant to put three key three key and one 70 percent across the board and the additional 30 percent of the stats is to realm of gods or final trump card categories editing dev go ahead and show us what this 200 percent leader skill is looking like so this is exactly what the 200 percent skill is looking like you have the usual suspects as like tech ui the ninth anniversary gogeta um you do see your fraud blue boys love them but they're frauds and you have you have dokkan as topo um rose but you're most definitely not going to use him because you want to use him with super bosses but anyways going back on over to this vegeto his uh, super attack effect well his super attack name is uh, spirit sword and he immensely stacks attack and defense greatly lowers the enemy's attack as well as does colossal damage he is a tur doing colossal damage while immensely stacking attack and defense and greatly lowering the enemy's attack so he has good super attack effects and his passive, full power Vegito, he gets 180% attack and defense at the start of turn and guards for the first three turns. Nice. And he also has a 70% chance to perform an additional super attack. And he also gets 10% damage reduction up to 50% per super attack performed. That is just, just built up completely. There's no within the same turn. And he gets 20% attack and defense per int or rainbow keys you're obtained. And he randomly changes orbs into int or rainbow orbs so he is a nuker that does have the ability to create his own orbs which is obviously very nice and i like when they do that for nukers well when you people that create the custom cards to uh, put this specific ability on them or when dokkan does it either or i like the uh, the design of that route as well as this card also having additional super attack chance to help out this card to be able to build up its damage reduction while it having guard within those first three turns uh, to uh, have it fall back within those first three turns to give it the damage reduction build up um car for the first three turns helps out damage reduction build up as well as the additional super attack chance and the orb changing helps out this card's nuke pretty much <laughs> i overcomplicate it but yeah so his active skill the uh, super saiyan god ritual can be activated in the third turn for start of battle so basically when your guard wears off so you just transition from your guard into this god vegeto and guys may i warn you this card is busted or when there is a movie bosses or realm of gods category enemy so it could be done turn one against movie bosses or realm of gods category enemy of course enemy, but pretty much the same thing so what do we have here uh so his new super attack effects he immensely stacks attack and only gains 50 percent defense one turn while lowering the enemy's attack and defense one turn while doing med colossal damage remember he's a tur and he has a 70 percent chance to stun so great super attack effects and he recovers all HP at the start of turn, so you get a free sense of being 250% attack and defense at the start of turn with unrestricted guard. He also gets, within the first eight turns of him transforming, 75% damage reduction, and he also is able to foresee enemy super attacks, so that's very powerful. He performs guaranteed crits, as well as him building up attack, where each attack receives up to 100%, so he just has to take four attacks, and he gets a free 100% attack. He still changes key spheres to int or str, not str, excuse me, because I did a video on uh, Broly, I'm still thinking about Broly. Um, he changes key spheres randomly to int or rainbow key spheres, and he also gets 25% attack and defense up to 150% per int or rainbow key sphere obtained, and he recovers 20% HP for every turn, of course, passive turn where he recovers that full HP, uh, and he uh, performs a guarantee super, which is unrestricted, and if this character stuns the enemy, which of course he has stun chance inside of super attack effects, he performs a guarantee super, which is obviously very nice, which means he has two guarantee supers both of them, and... Uh, with each crit performed, he gets 25% attack up to 100%. So pretty much he goes from 25% attack up to 100% attack, which is four super attacks. I mean, or just normals. So that's nice. It's not specified for normal attacks or super attacks, which is cool. 
And he also is a counter unit to both normals and super attacks. So counters with guaranteed crits built into him. As well as him easily being able to build up his attack with him just taking attacks and performing critical hits from just normals and super attacks. He has two plus guaranteed supers built into him. He recovered HP in two separate ways. That being from the first turn with him recovering all HP as well as him getting HP recovery every turn. He creates orbs which helps him easily get his additional 25% attack at ease up to 150%. He foresees super attacks. Guard with 75% damage reduction, 250% attack at defense as well as immensely stacking attack and gaining 50% defense one turn. Attack debuffing, stun chance. I mean, his card has it all. And when you pop his active skill, that being the divine Kamehameha, the condition is where the boss has 50% or more HP or the next attacking turn. It temporarily massively raises attack, causes ultimate damage, and for one turn, the enemy will focus their attacks on this character and he gets 15% damage reduction. So um, the boss is going to be dead when you hit him with his active skill. No surprise because you're immensely stacking attack from both your pre and post transformation. So the boss is getting exploded as well as it being a guaranteed crit. Don't forget that. And uh, he gets additional 15% damage reduction. So not only that, but him using his active skill he's gonna have 90 percent damage reduction of course 15 on top of 75 percent that's gonna be 90 percent with guard he's not dying as well as him killing the boss instantaneously now there are no uh, numbers on this card to show what his stats would look like but hey uh his links are fuse fighters super saiyan golden warrior power bestowed by god prepare for battle uh shock of speed fierce battle and when you get to God Vegito, Golden Warrior changes for Warrior Gods, and Prepare for Battle changes for Over in the Flash. Now, are there any problems with this card? Post Transformation, zero issues. This card kills everything in this path. Active skill attack just kills everything. Defensively strong, builds of attack to hit much harder, of course, which, I mean, this card is already going to be deleting enemies regardless because you're already immensely stacking attack from your pre transformation. So I see no issues with the post transformation. As for the pre transformation, I would probably say. The exact same thing because his guard for the first three turns is his first defensive ability that he has before he builds up all his damage reduction and even then you get to the third turn you just go into god vegeto immediately so i would say he's completely fine on that first turn he changes a good amount of in key spheres he gets 20 percent attack and defense per in key sphere obtained he's going to be pretty defensively sound with a whole lot of defense from gathering all those in key spheres now granted it is it is a bit luck based for you getting all those in key spheres or all those rainbow key spheres but the thing is is that that could help him within that first turn when he takes that first super attack if that is the case so I think that is about it. Send me custom cards over to BSHIP, custom cards at gmail.com. Exitune, thank you for sending in your card, W card, uh, so I can get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way for the, of course, BHDM custom cards at gmail.com. I'm going to get to editing this video as soon as possible. I already did the unit review, and I've been recording for uh, a long time, recording and editing. Like, I didn't like how the first video came out, so I just did a completely new one. I'm not going to really edit this one too hard, but I edited the unit review one just a little bit just a little bit it took me longer than usual i'm not used to editing that's why but yeah i uh, appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best i'll catch you guys next time i absolutely love you all peace